tonight on Geeks of the Middle Age, Marvel's 20 films ranked in the top five right now. Are you guys ready? Very ready. Yeah, let's knock this out the box, Rick. Gladiator is ready. Knock it out the box, Rick. Knock it out. Okay. Marvel Studios, Cinematic I'm Universe. I'm ready. Number at five. Number, at number five is. Is. Ba-dum, 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 Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Thor what? Ragnarok comes what? in at number five overall. Probably the funniest of all the oh my God. films. It, and I've seen that again, another film that's on Netflix right now that you can watch. And of course, holds up. I'm telling you, you're old. A lot of fun, a lot of eye candy. I enjoy watching this movie a lot. Yeah, what this film did for Thor is amazing. There's a video out there talking about how what they what what this movie did for Thor. It's amazing. And what's really great, it carries over into Infinity War because he was he was the star. You know, when everybody the star, he was like the the hero, you know. Um and 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 this movie's a great I mean, everything about this movie was great. Tessa Thompson, um crazy uh, 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 um uh, Thor, Thor's performance, the Hulk. I mean everything about Kate this movie Blanchett. Was great. Kate Blanchett was pretty good. She was fantastic. You know, uh, oh um and Darius Elba getting to be in Darius Elba. Idris. I mean Idris Idris, 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 excuse me, Idris, James Bond getting to do to mean uh, And Darius, get in here, do your homework. You know. Uh, I, I think this movie was great. This movie was great and what it did to that character is just it it's like a what is it, a one eighty. It changed that guy completely. From everything, I mean, this is more like you know, from the one of the most hated Avengers to now. There's people talking like they want to see another Thor movie, which I never thought I would ever hear. I thought they would have been three and done with Thor. Those people want to see a fourth one because it's that good. And you know, anytime they use that Zeppelin and 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 nail it, it's always got to be good. So, do you like the Ragnarok, Kathy? Um, yeah, the reason why I'm sitting here with, I don't know what kind of expression on my face to make you think that I'm sleeping is because I'm not sure what I should Puff. say because I don't know how much we want to Puff. get real, get real with it. Pass. Well, yeah, but you, they, he likes to reveal at the end what our actual numbers were. So, so if I you, talk, you want as much higher. You think I'm pretty like sure I put this as my number one film of all of the films. I'm pretty sure yeah. that I did. Okay. Well, you, um, you you seemed you seemed a little annoyed when you heard that it was at number five. So, I was annoyed. Yeah, okay. that's why I'm not sleepy. I'm fucking pissed, Leo. <laughs> that's why I'm sitting I, here. Like I thought that. you I thought you were voting it much higher. I thought you didn't like it. Yes. Yeah. The, no. The, and that was my whole point. Is that the worst? fucking MCU film for me is a Thor film and the best film of the MCU film is a Thor film for me. Hey, uh, why? Because of Taika Waititi, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, well he's a great director. He's a lot of fun and he's uh he's a uh, he was great in the movie. What we do in the shadows is the greatest movie he's ever done in the history of film. A lot of funny stuff. The best vampire movie in the history of all vampire movies, but that's another subject. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok is 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 the is the greatest, easily the greatest Thor film. I think it's the most fun of all of the Marvel films. I fucking loved every second of that movie. And the Infinity War uh, extras, either the Blu-ray or the digital download, he talks about how he went to films like both uh, Flash Gordon and Big Trouble in Little China, and he cut a sizzle reel with that using that. Those type of characters, and you can really see it. I mean, and especially in the language that Thor uses, it's very similar to stuff that happens in, you know, Big Trouble in Little China. Now, the colors, especially, you know. Oh yeah. So of course, I, I watched it again today, um, and uh, really enjoyed it. It is, it's, it's the best Thor film. It is not my favorite MCU movie. In fact, while I, I call it, well, I, I, I would rate it a solid eight out of ten, no question. Um, it is not my favorite MCU movie. It's not one of my favorite because it's a little too light and a little too too silly, but it's enjoyable as shit. And Kate Blanchett is fantastic in it. I think she looks crazy hot. Um, and uh, and it's so much fun to watch. So 
Rewatchable really as it. fuck. Rewatchable. Again? It's rewatchable as fuck. Totally. Mm -hmm. totally. I, Every day. I, I absolutely enjoyed it. It's it's a little too late and zingy for me, but I enjoyed the shit out of it. Tessa Thompson was amazing. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. And she'll probably get her own film soon, too. Moving on to number four. Number four is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. This is a space opera directed by James Gunn. Uh, we set up uh, the world outside of Earth, and its movie has everything. It has humor, it tugs at your heart, it builds a family. Mm -hmm. It's a solid, solid film, and it could easily be number one. Yeah. That's how good it is. It has a tree dude, has a cursing raccoon. Well, he was supposed to be a cursing all. raccoon. He was supposed to be a cursing raccoon, and they 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 tell back on that. Yeah. We were promised to write our film at once, right? Oh, um, get it. Well, this... otherwise, the movie's perfect. What makes this movie great, this is the film that when you saw it on their list of films, you were like, wait, what? I actually had to do a double take. I thought it because I had been out of comics so long. I was wondering, wow, is Guardians that popular now? And no, no, it's not. It was, it, 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 it was, it, it's still, it was still, it, 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 at the time when I, at the time, it was a C-list comic book and it's, it's giving maybe a little better now, but it's, it was a seedless comic book, and that's what it was. But I saw it with Leo, and man, I couldn't tell you how much I love that movie when I walked out of movie theater. I mean, the soundtrack, um, I, I, I think I got it for free. I think it was offered as a free download. I had a soundtrack, perfect soundtrack. Everything about that film, I mean, it has some lines in there that's still quotable. It's like, you know, the whole thing with the Jackson Pollock line. I mean, that movie, I mean, he was, Leo was right. This movie, was, this movie could easily be number one easily be number one that's how good it was i mean and, and it was so surprising and the movie was like was so good that weeks after it was released it was still popping up as number one because people were coming to see it repeatedly i mean it, it, i think it's also the film where people realize the marvel cinematic universe is doing some special stuff because this movie came out of left field nobody knew what there was coming out with and they just knocked it they, they knocked this shit out of that movie it was it was great. This movie came out a few months before uh, Force Awakens. And after uh, Chuck and I went to see it, and I said, wow, the special effects in this movie, I wonder how Force Awakens is going to live up to this. Of course, there are two total different films, two total different genres, really, you know. Um, but this film really oh, wanted me with special opera. effects. What? Space operas. Yes, but this was this is yeah, totally but like Guardians of the Galaxy didn't fucking murder Han Solo. So. Well, there you are. <laughs> And this, one had dance -off. and this one had a dance off. I heard them. I heard them talk about it. That's actually maybe the weakest part of the film is the dance off. It's a small weakness, but it, that might be the weakest you part. You said of the best film. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> For me personally, again, too light and zingy, but really enjoyable movie. Um, so in, I put it in the same places as Guardians Two, as Thor Ragnarok. Um, as uh, maybe a couple other movies, it's a little too light and zingy, but but still really enjoyable. All right, uh, moving on to number three, and number three, a movie that could easily be number one, and of, of course, all these could be number one. And number three is Captain America: Civil War, a movie that people consider the best of the Marvel universe up to actually the last year, perhaps. <laughs> Just think about that. Yeah, just thinking about that. Uh, but yes, it's a wonderful film. I enjoyed it. I watched it again uh, last week. Again, still holds up. Movie's only what three three years old, and uh, a lot of things come from it. We we get the we get the introduction of Black Panther, right? Introduction of Spider Man. Plus, we get more uh, drama with the Winter Soldier, brought up from uh, Captain America too. And it's a dense film. Tons of characters. Again, people also call it Avengers 2.5 right. in a way that it is Avengers movie. It's certainly an Avengers movie. And I enjoy it. I still enjoy it. I, for me, it is almost like it's almost number one. And like, it's, a, it's number two, um, not number three. But uh, I, I think it's really solid. I think it's, it's an Avengers, you know, it is an Avengers movie. It's the Avengers movie that we were supposed to get in like Ultron. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it was. You know, it it brought in and it brought in Black Panther, who I personally had been waiting five years for. Like the second there was a hint of a Black Panther movie, I was like, oh, okay. And uh, this seeing him was not disappointed. 
So Tom Holland as uh, as Spider Man's in it. Then you got Black Panther in it, and uh, and it's bringing so much freshness, so much power, so much energy, um, and uh, and it's kind of dark. You know, you get that 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 literally that schism between the Avengers and uh, and and Cap and and Iron Man. It, it I think it's perfect. I um I think what's really great about this film is everybody talks about the airport fight, and the airport fight is is a classic comic book fight, without a doubt. But the fight between Captain America and Iron Man at the end that is Oof. great. Wow, man. Yeah. And what's really weird is that movie came out the same year as, I believe, um, Batman versus Superman. And they had similar dynamics, but you had one film executing it perfectly. And and I just think that the, the, the whole dynamic about them, um, like, you know, when Iron Man flips out, he has a good reason. It's like the dude killed his mom. And we could, he says, I don't care. He killed my mom, and we all right there. We all got it. It wasn't it when they were all yelling Martha, though. Martha. Yeah, 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 exactly. I was gonna say, <laughs> but that, but see, but that was that is a motivation we all understand. That whole Martha crap in the other film that just was totally stupid. But they showed you how to nail it. it. You know, we all understood that the Winter Soldier wasn't a bad guy. We all understood he was under mind control. But when you hear it and see this guy killed your parents. Even though in the back of your brain you know he's not responsible, you don't. He even said, "I don't care." He killed my mom. It's a really good point that you made, though. Uh, what you just said, like uh, the uh, the correlation between the two movies and the two fights. Oh it's yeah, really almost about the same thing. And yeah, yeah. A one, there's a lot of how one is the example of how you do it, and the other one was like a lame. Well, you should do an episode to compare those two films. They came out the same year, similar motivations, similar everything. Except one film was perfectly was perfectly executed, and the other one was horribly botched. Right. Not only that, that it's coming out of a bad movie. It's coming out of Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's the other thing. thing. Yeah, and still, still, it's able to pick up his feet and you know, and and fight throughout and, and mm-hmm. win. You know, how about you, uh, Kathy? You a big fan of the Civil War? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're in the top five now, so. Um... I was going to say, I don't remember reading at the time. Did they do that on purpose? Marvel and or DC? Because that is pretty interesting how you have these top two superhero franchise studios basically, yeah, running the exact same plot and one of them does everything right, and the other one does everything wrong. Well, uh, Marvel had already set the table with Age of Ultron, which is a famous comic, and Civil War is also a favorite, very famous comic. So they were setting it up to, look, these are the famous titles we have on, in, on, on book, and we're right, going to adapt like, them to film. Yeah, but, 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 but Leo, what we're trying to tell you, it's going to be superhero versus superhero. Uh, yeah, even saying, but, um, so we should release Batman versus Superman this year. They just pulled it out of the rest because they should have done a Batman movie there. Yeah, well, yeah, but the the, 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 the wow. thing is, it's still it's very similar storylines because remember in Batman, Batman feels that Superman is a being that can't be controlled. In Bat in Civil War, Iron Man feels that the Avengers need to be placed under control. It's similar. It's it's really it's well, the, really weird how similar those films are. The poetry of that aside, we're at a very difficult point now where all these are all top tier films. Right. And I love them all for different reasons. I don't remember exactly where I put this one. I'm pretty sure it's in my top three. This was really difficult. It was easier for me. It was easiest for me to do which ones do I like the least. <laughs> The middle, I could probably change a lot of my middle numbers. The top, also, depending on the day, I don't know if I watch them again, if they would necessarily, they would, the top five would still be the top five, but maybe not the same ranking in the top five. These are all fantastic, fantastic superhero films. What's really weird perfect. is that the, maybe the, perfect. The, these these last few films were released within the last couple of years, 
and they're already, if you were to rank the top 10 comic book movies of all time, these movies most likely would be in the top five. These last few movies that we're talking about. Seriously, it's really, they've gotten better. Marvel's gotten better. You know what I'm saying? It's really scary. Moving on then to number two in a movie that was released early this year, and that is The Black Panther Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How dare you use that, that accent? <laughs> That's my African Son accent. Is that, your, is that your African accent? <laughs> That's my African accent. Very good. I'm from Rwanda. Well, he's doing, he's doing, now that I hear it, it's dead on. No, he's doing his claw accent. Claw, yes, South African accent. As a white person, I feel very uncomfortable now. They got, <laughs> they got all the vibranium. I'm definitely not going to try to do any kind of accent. Black Panther, and just like Ragnarok. I'm just going to do this in blackface if that's cool. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> just like Ragnarok, in a way, it built an incredible world, right? And all the parts fit. To me, it is not the best story. Okay, I think there are some things that are kind of weak over on the movie, but it definitely sets up a world. It has a probably the top two villain mm -hmm. that we've had in Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. um, I think Mark Bernard is the best is that the hero himself doesn't pop out, you know, doesn't have the same pop as the villain does. Yeah, that's maybe. the problem with this film. Yeah, Bo Bo Bozeman's probably a better actor. Then the Michael B. Jordan in a way. Michael B. Jordan is a much is, better actor. I think, yeah, but he's a better star. Jordan yeah. has a star. Yeah, Jordan's a star. Yes. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! And that's the difference. It's like comparing, you know, Tom Cruise to somebody else. It's like who's right. a better star? He's a better star, right? Uh, but yes. So Chuck, do you like the Black Panther? I loved it. I loved it, and I, and I, I think um, the biggest reason why I didn't put it number one is because. Uh, the villain, to me, was the bigger presence in the film. Um, <clears throat> I totally got his story. Um, I totally got his motivation. Um, so, um, so that's why, to me, it's, 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 it drops because uh, I think it's, it's, he's overshadowed by um, the villain. But I thought this movie was great. I think, I mean, it was, I've watched it multiple times. I loved it. Um, it's, it's, it's a fabulous film. Um, it wasn't, it, it lived up what was great about it, it lived up to the hype, which is rare. But again, it's really weird. The last two movies on this list were also the one of the last two films of Marvel release, and each one, uh, each one lived up to the hype, and each right. one is great. I mean, these last two films were released back to back. Think about that. And I don't know how much affected our voting, but I mean. I went back, and it's like we all did, and compared the whole list back and forth until we got a right combination, and that's how it came out. Before I go to Jason, I'm going to Kathy first. I know Jason has a lot to say. So, Kathy, do you like the Black Panther? Do you like the Black Panther? I loved what? everything. I love Lupita Nyong'o. I love Denai Guerrera. I thought that a lot of the cinematography was breathtaking. One of the scenes that really stuck with me is when... He's going to become Black Panther, that whole ceremony, when the camera pulls back and all the people are standing there and all the different groups, like, have different... They're all standing on the side of the mountain and they all have the different colors. Everything about Wakanda. I remember, like, being so excited just to see it. Uh, I said to Dave, I think... If there was anything like Africa in the Star Wars universe, I feel like that was the, totally the vibe that I got from Wakanda, and I love the look of it. I just, yeah, Chadwick Boseman, he could talk like T'Challa to me all day long. I love this movie. So Jason's a big Black Panther fan, right, Jason? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, she nailed everything I was going to say. Okay, bye. Next, moving on. 100% right. right. Uh, the movie's fantastic. It really is. I am not a Michael B. Jordan fan because I don't think he's a very good actor. I think he's always Michael B. Jordan. I think he's a star. I don't think he's a great actor. Um, I think Chadwick Boseman is a much better actor, but you're absolutely right that that he's he's a much better star. He's shown in that movie. He, uh, he had a better dialogue. He had a better dialogue. In the oh, movie fuck, yeah. Well. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I mean, uh, he probably had the juicier part. You know, certainly had the juicier part. But um, but uh, I think Chadwick Boseman's fantastic as Black Panther. I hate hearing him speak without his African accent. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is me off. I file him with James Marsters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He should only speak as funny. Yeah, me too. You're right. <laughs> I never I never want to hear him speak without his accent. It bugs me that he's not British. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it makes me nuts. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, the movie's fantastic. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. And 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 what I was really saying with uh, with, with Michael B. Jordan was, as much as I, I dislike him, he was great in this movie. And the movie really works with him in it because it's so well done and the actors are so good in it and the story is so great the the characters are fantastic the settings are, are brilliant um and the uh the, the world building is perfect so love it i had no idea that andy circus was like a ripped like a big guy yeah wow. i was surprised by that as well Gollum. did you think he was Gollum? he was about to say <laughs> he My might find both stuff in his role for sure you know because he's not a young guy he's got his late 40s probably mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. All right, moving on to our overall number one pick of the yeah, number one Ma Marvel Studios Universe films, and it's Your Howard Mars. the Duck. Oh, <laughs> it is, of course, the number one film of all time Avengers Infinity War, a movie that was just released like I don't know four months ago, one, but it was pretty good. And, uh, <laughs> I saw this twice in the theater. I bought it on uh, iTunes. I watched it again. I watched it again with commentary. And it's such a fun ride. It's like a two hour and 20 minutes. And it's like a, you think the movie is really 30 minutes long. That's how yeah. fast the movie is. Yeah, yeah it, moves re it moves very well. Moves very well. And everybody gets their due. We have adventures in Wakanda, in New York. In uh, space. Scotland, in they space. paced it well. Yeah, all over space, all over space, various planets. Everybody gets their due, and of course, the ending. But yeah. overall, uh, to me, it's probably one of the best. Oh, of course, we have a number one. I forget what our rank is because we just about our voting took place two weeks ago, so we're all a little bit foggy on wh where we voted. But um, it is probably you know it, it deserves its place in the top two. Of all. Mm -hmm. I agree. I was I was with Leo when we watched this movie, and um, I cl I clapped at the end of the film uh, with the end of the snap because I read the comic book. So to me, I needed to see that, and I needed to see what happened. And, and the fact that he did that, I was happy about that. Mm -hmm. So I clapped, and nobody else is clapping. And I said, "Oh, did I misread this? No, everybody was stunned. Everybody's crying. Was crying. There were yeah, people. My daughter, my my youngest." My youngest daughter was in tears of watching this movie. Um, it's just a brilliant film. Uh, hats off to Caitlin the is a real person. Just hats off to the on. Russos. Uh, hey, this is this is the Russos last three films that they did: Captain America: Winter Soldier, Captain America: Civil War, and Infinity War. I mean, that's <laughs> that's three fucking movies that they did. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, they, and they just they just consistently hit it out the park. I mean, they did an amazing job with this movie. Um, uh, I, they they what I love is the people who were given the bulk of the film did a great job of carrying it. That you didn't miss. Hey, Captain America's only in this movie. I think five minutes. I think. I like. I think they somebody said like total screen time. He's only in the movie for like five minutes. But you know, you you, you get a lot of uh, Doctor Strange, a lot of Iron Man in this movie. Um, but the, the, the biggest star of the movie is, is, is Josh Brolin, Thanos. Thanos was amazing. Right. Um, the, he, 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 he's arguably, if he's not number one villain for Marvel, he's easily, he's, he's number two. He's just, he's just, he's, he was awesome. Um, and Hey, not, not, not only was the ending great Leo, but watching Thanos do literally what he said he wanted to do. Which makes what he did even more scarier. He wasn't some megalomaniacal being. He honestly felt he was doing good, and he said, "Once I've done good, I'm out." And we he, got a lot of like, is it like pathos? Uh, you, like you really feel for him. Yeah, and then when he's done, yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, I bought his pain. I I, I bought that, and I, it also helps that what's her name sold it. The uh, mantis saying he's like he's mourning. I, you know, so, um, yeah, and you know, when you watch that part where they almost the, the glove came this close to coming off, yeah. it came back. Spidey had it. <laughs> Spidey had it, man. He had it. What do, what do you guys think about about the uh, the hatred 
that uh, that Star Lord has gotten because of that. Well, he did. He screwed up. Look, I, 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 look, look. I, he, he did screw up. There's no doubt about it. I mean, if he could have just kept his cool for like, and it's not like him and Gamora were shagging. I don't even think they. I think the first time they kiss is in this movie. He's in love with her, though. Yeah, but still, it's like his reaction was was a little over the top. But you know, you know, I, and that's the other thing I think that that's the one criticism I had of the film. It would have been nice to have Peter Quill survive to see him having to understand the consequences of his actions because he was the dude who. Is the reason why, you know, half the universe. I, I I spent the last three weeks cleaning up dusted people. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. So, how about, how about you, Kathy? Do you like the Infinity War? Uh, I really did. It's um, I'm pretty certain it's in my top three. I definitely did not put it at number one, but uh, yeah, it is. An absolutely fantastic movie. I do have some issue with the people that get upset with him about that, but then again, he I fucked up on Kathy. Like I, I come into this. I to a certain extent, I have an emotional investment in these characters, but I also come into it knowing that this is the superhero universe. One of the things that I, one of the reasons why I never did get into reading comics is because I didn't like the fact that there wasn't like a solid continuity. Like they're always going off and, oh, but what if this happened instead? And what if this, like, I like my fantasy. I like to be able to separate myself and trick myself into thinking that it's real. And when you have like 12, you tell the story 12 different ways, the same story, I'm like, well, now no, these are just stories and I kind of I kind of lose it a little bit. And for me, that's why I do lose some of the emotional investment of Infinity War because please, I know that these people come every fucking single person that went to dust. Yeah, I cried in the theater. I thought that emotionally was very well played out and well acted, but none of these superheroes are gone forever. Well, vision, vision, none of them. The rumor is pre-snap, they're gone. Pre like Vision's not coming back. Gamora, Vision. Well, Gamora's the exception because her 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 death is tied to the Soul Stone. But you yeah, know, Gamora will be back. Vision. Well, let's be honest. He's he's kind of cool concept. But I don't really, and a lot of times romantic angst will hook me in. But him and Scarlet Witch, honestly, I didn't really give a shit. But well, Suri could fix him. Suri, Suri said, yeah. you guys did this wrong. You could do it better, she said. I don't, yeah. So I'm not, you know, I'm not concerned about Vision. The ones that were sad for me were, of course, Peter Quill um, and Mantis and Drax and Spider-Man. That was very emotional. And that was Tom Holland. Of course, Spider Man is going to. That be. was Tom. That was Tom Holland, though. He saw, that was improvised. Yeah, and it was awesome. It was all awesome. I did cry in the theater. I did feel bad, and I was a little bit shocked because I did not expect Black Panther to disappear. I did not expect Spider Man to disappear. There were a couple of. I did not expect um, in the cookie at the end Nick Fury to disappear. So, yeah, all of that stuff was entertaining, but there was just a little bit of the impact that wasn't there. And certainly blaming Peter Quill for ruining it because what? They were going to get the glove off and defeat him? No, that was never going to happen. It could not happen. It's of course honor. I don't blame Star-Lord. Of perfect, course I don't. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect answer to that because... Yeah, you know, yes, when we immerse ourselves, of course, we start to, like, play out scenarios and stuff. But the truth of it is, is that it, it, it couldn't happen. It, was, it could never play that way. Right. What People I, that hate The Last Jedi are pissed because Luke is disillusioned. Well, you know what? That fucking makes sense. If it doesn't fit with your fan fiction, I'm sorry. I but this uh, is the way the story needs to go. I, I'll say this, though. What I loved is that uh, when Thor does show up, Warhammer would have killed him. 
That was well, amazing. Yeah, when Thor yeah. shows up, it is amazing. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, what they did with Thor was amazing, and you saw it there. They carried it through. Storm- Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. The Stormbreaker. Yeah. It was, they carried through, and he was still. And remember, they were filming this movie when, um, when um. Black Panther's being shot. No, no, no. When, Ragnarok hadn't even come out yet, Leo. So they knew that Thor had gone through a dramatic change when they were making this movie, and they just carried that through. They made him a total badass. I mean, when he shows up and he's like, Thanos! Yeah. Oh, man, he was just amazing. That was and the then, coolest he's ever been for me. And, and that part at the end where you think he did it, I was like, I was like, I would have been like, uh, it's a little disappointed, but, you know, it's actually, this is pretty cool the way he did it. I'll but give it that, to him. But he said, you should have went for the head. What? Bam! I, 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 I was shocked. I said, I said, oh, shit, he did it. I think I said that. I think I said that. I said I think I literally said in the movie there when he snapped his finger. I said, "Oh shit, they did it!" And then you know the people getting dusted away. I was just like, "Wow!" But um, it, everything Thor was in in that movie was a highlight. Like the part where he gets where he's like, um, "I'll do it unless he kills me." He goes, "Yes, boy." And the dinkles. The dinkles, yeah. though. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. And, and, and um, Peter Dinklage as the as the giant dwarf. I like that. Uh, but even the action sequences in the movie, the one, the big fight at Wakanda was great. The the, the fight in New York was great. The fight on Titan was great. I mean, it, this, this movie was great. It really is. <laughs> it really was great. Really is. It had a slow part in it. It was great, you know. Starts out great, you know. Moving on to everybody set. Everybody said what they Show us the numbers. All yeah, right, here we go, I, the numbers. I, yeah, I agree with everything that has been said. Basically. Sure, Jason? Yeah, sure? good. You good? You good? All right, moving on to the numbers, our favorite thing of the show. And as we see, at number five, Thor Ragnarok, I had voted it Whoa. at number three. Jason had it at number nine. Kathy had it at number two. And Chuck had it at number six. That's kind of all over the place. I am very yeah. Surprised. And ended up with 16 points, which makes it fifth place. Um, so the only one who got closer was Chuck. He was the closest because, uh, as you see, it's 15 and it was 16. So Ragnarok, we all loved it, but not enough to put it at number one. At number four, Guns of the Galaxy, Kathy and I had it at number one. That's really surprising to me that you guys have it at number one. That well, is surprising to me too because I really thought I put Thor Ragnarok, Ragnarok at what, number one. <laughs> Everybody knows that Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite Marvel film, and it had a number one. Except Jason brought that shit down because he's number thirteen. That's uh, that's uh, my top five. Really, kid. That's insane. And Chuck, that, that makes there's no logic behind that one. Oh, here's here's my logic. What? Fuck the movie. <laughs> and Chuck was close because he was a number five with it, so he got pretty close to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, Guardians it deserves to be in the top five. I don't know why Jason put it so low. He put it at number 13. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge, like I said, I'm not a huge fan. He doesn't like the fun, happy ones. I don't like, like love and movies. happiness. Screw all you guys who want to be happy. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to escape from the misery of life. No, that's the real truth of it. Enjoy it. <laughs> that's what I live every day. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's what my PC gift to you. Is- Doing. That's Thanos' gift to you. Giving me Superman a dick. I don't. Uh, you know, I noticed I got almost every film in the top five, except I wonder what what was my number five. I don't remember. Uh, at number three, Captain America: Civil War. I had it at number five. Jason had it at number four. Kathy had it at number eight, and Chuck had a number two. I so, thought I had. Sorry, Chuck had a number a number. Th- yeah. Oh, I had Black Panther three. Oh, wow. Chuck had a number two. So, um, anybody hit it around the nose? I hit it on the nose, right? No, you were off by one, and Chuck, oh, you yeah. and Chuck were the closest because should have been uh, number three is eighteen points, and you were seventeen, and Chuck was nineteen. So, uh, you guys were pretty close to that. And number two, Black Panther. I'm the one who brought it down. I had Black Panther at number seven. Oh, Jason, wow. had, Jason had a number two. Kathy had a number four, and Chuck had a number three. And it came out to number two. But if it wasn't for my vote, it would have been much higher. If I would have voted it just one point higher, it would, it would have been number one. It would have been number one. Yeah. And, uh, but Kathy hit it around the nose. Kathy, no, she didn't know. Jason had it around the nose. Sure. Jason had the first. Jason, yeah. 
He's the one who got the most right in, in, in this top five. And number one, Avengers Infinity War. I had a number four. Jason had a number one. Kathy had it pretty low at number nine. Jesus, girl. And Chuck had a number one. So I Chuck don't know why. I, oh, I don't know why I did that. But but you did, girl. You did. I did. What was my number four, Leo? I don't remember right now. Because I'm looking at I'm looking at like I see the top five. I'm like, yeah, I got yeah. But then I noticed that my like, Guardians is number. What was number? Oh, oh it might have been Ragnarok. I, I have see. to go back to. I'm it. also. I think it was Ragnarok. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I watch them all again in the short term, yeah. my numbers would be different. Now, Chuck, Some Ragnar of my numbers would be different. Some right. of them. Yeah, it will change with time. But, Chuck, you have Ragnarok at number six. Yeah. The number six? At number six. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what was number four for me. Let me see. I'll take, get to it right now. I'll have the list here. But overall, guys, any big surprises? Everybody happy? Yeah, I think it's a pretty good list. There's not really anything really glaring at you go, wow, these guys don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. It's I mean, really you know, there's there's some stuff that was a little surprising, yeah. but 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 yeah. overall. Chuck, your number four was Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 But uh uh we had some things that were pretty close. Like I said, but like you know, um two of you guys guessed number one. We had a lot of things that were around the money. Uh I think number six and number fifteen or something we all had the same but yeah, those are top 20 Marvel Studio films of all time. And next year we get uh, three more films. We get uh, Cap we get Captain Marvel. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, so am I. I can't wait. And then we get Avengers 4, whichever what? What, whatever name is going to have. And then we get Spider-Man. It's going to be a good year for yeah. Marvel. Good year. And I like that they keep that three number. That three number is fine. Three Marvel films a year is fine. Uh, the one thing I will say for them is Try to space it out a little more because yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you Black Panther was released in February, and this movie they released it in, in, in April, late April, but still in April, you know. Yeah, but, try not to suffocate the Star Wars releases, will you please, Marvel? Well, Star Wars should release the films in December, yeah, leave it in December, May 25th, 1977. This and, December thing is a new thing. But it's 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 their window. And if they would have released Han Solo in December, Han Solo wouldn't be considered a flop. Yeah, because winter is when, when families go to the movies together and summer is when kids go to the movies together. Right. And I think Star Wars is a family and kids film and they'll do much better in December. Just because the way the market has changed. Well, I'm sure episode nine is coming out in wintertime. And look what they, hey, Cat, they released it on Star Wars Day, the real Star Wars Day, and it tanked. So, my Marvel now is ripping the yeah. benefits of, of, you know, of Blu rays or more like the downloads, you know, in the way that they, they scatter their films. First, we had Black Panther, then we had the, uh, no, what was the first one that was released this year? Oh, Ant Man, sorry. First was uh, Black Panther, wow. then it was uh, uh, Avengers, and then it was Ant Man and the Wasp. And you know they still haven't released the Ammon the Wasp Blu-ray yet. They'll probably come out in two or three months from now. So the, that's what they do. They front load the movies and then they back load it with, you know, the releases with the, the Blu-ray releases or mm -hmm. the drill releases. So that's their marketing strategy. So everybody happy with the list? Chuck, you didn't have any much, any not many blow-ups, just one or two. No, I just thought the 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 the, the, the Winter Soldier thing was uh and um. Yeah, well, I was I found it a little surprising, but you know it happens. Yeah. All right. Thanks for thanks for thanks for picking your uh, your armpit uh, pimples on air. That was that was nice. Yeah, it was it's gorgeous, really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> if you like what you see, please click on the subscribe button right here. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Also, you can click on some of the links that you see around to see the stuff we've done in the past. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.